Today we're going to begin our look at the third petition, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We're going to begin by reading the petition and its explanation from the small catechism. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What does this mean? The good and gracious will of God is done even without our prayer, but we pray in this petition that it may be done among us also. How is God's will done? God's will is done when he breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world and our sinful nature, which do not want us to hallow God's name or let his kingdom come. And when he strengthens and keeps us firm in his word and faith until we die, this is his good and gracious will. Now on this point, we're going to turn to the 103rd Psalm, verse 19, where the psalmist has written, The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Living in a world uh, where bad things happen and where tragedy strikes and where natural disasters and things like that happen, we can often feel as if God's will is not done on this earth. And yet God assures us that his will is done on earth. Well, how does this happen? Well, even though we live in a world that is full of sinful people who do selfish things and cause harm and suffering to others, uh, God is also at the same time working through earthly authorities who are his called ministers of justice uh, to establish and to defend and to protect the rights of those who are oppressed. And so that is a one way that God's will is done here on earth. It is through earthly authorities. Another way that God's will is done is that his word is always working, even, and I would say, especially in difficult and dangerous situations, so that God's will is done. You see, God doesn't want us to know his blessings just for a little while. God wants us to know his blessings and his love both now and forever. And so the will of God is done uh, when God keeps us in our faith, when he uh, protects us by the power of his word. Uh, when his holy angels, the unseen ministers of God, are working on behalf of God's people. It is true that we live in a world that is full of, of darkness and evil, and yet at the same time, God is also present, and God is continually working for the blessing of his people. And so when we pray, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, it just as has happened in the, the first petition and the second petition, so also in the third petition, we are doing two things. One, we are confessing our faith that God's will is done and that God's will is going to be accomplished even in when we don't see it maybe with our earthly eyes. We're also asking God to do his will on earth. In other words, we're asking him to strengthen the, the rule of law. We're asking him to bless earthly authorities in their work uh, of ministering uh, by, by ways of, of establishing justice and protecting the poor and the innocent because of their work and their calling. We're asking God to give us faith, uh, to trust him always, even when we don't understand uh, the evil that is happening or the suffering that is caused. Uh, in all these ways, God's will is being done. And so we as God's people uh, can take our confidence and take refuge in God's will, knowing that uh, he is working in a world that is opposed to him. And because he is at work in the world, we can always trust him, we can follow him, and we know that uh, even though in this life it may often seem that his will isn't done, that when Christ returns in glory and when he comes to judge both the living and the dead, that God's will will ultimately and finally be done in a way that will be seen by all and where we as God's people will be the beneficiaries and the recipients uh, of his blessing as he exercises his absolute and ultimate authority over all. Please pray with me. Dear Father in heaven, we ask that your will would be done. There are times that we don't feel, that we don't think that your will is being done, and yet you say that you are working in unseen ways, and so we ask that you would give us the faith always to trust in you, and that you would work your will in both the good and the bad times, the, the, the evil uh, and in other ways, dear Lord, that we can't see or understand. Help us to know that you are always in charge, that you are working through earthly authorities to do your work, and that we as your people will ultimately see your will done uh, when this age comes to a close and we see you with our own eyes sitting on your throne above all authorities and above all powers, both in heaven and in earth. 
and that we in that place will finally experience the blessings of your will ultimately being established and carried out through your righteous judgment. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on your day.